You know that things are going really well for your campaign when you have to send off angry text messages to some of your biggest donors, some of the wealthiest people in the country to yell at them for not doing enough to help you. And let me tell you, that's probably not the way to get these people on your side. Nevertheless, according to a new report from the New York times, that is exactly what Donald Trump recently did with Miriam Adelson. Now Adelson is the widow of Sheldon Adelson, who of course was a billionaire Republican donor. His wife, Miriam is doing the same thing and she's given a lot of money to Donald Trump, but she's also poured millions of dollars into a super PAC that she created a super PAC called preserve America. And that's what made Donald Trump so angry. So according to this new report from the New York times, well, let me just read it to you. The former president instructed aide Natalie Harp to quote, fire off a series of angry text messages to Mrs. Adelson in Trump's name. According to three sources who claim those messages left his wealthy benefactor stunned. The texts were particularly jar uh, jarring because Mrs. Adelson and Mr. Trump had a friendly meeting just a week earlier at the Republican national convention, according to a person briefed on the matter. But Trump is accusing billionaire supporter Adelson, the widow of the casino magnet Sheldon Adelson of allowing the PAC she is funded with millions of dollars, preserve America to be run by Republicans in name only also known as rhinos. So you're given millions of dollars to this pack that you're funding and you're letting the rhinos run it. Trump says, so Natalie Harp, get my phone, send these angry fiery text messages, say that they're coming from me and you just blast this elderly woman for not giving me enough money and for letting rhinos run the show. That's what this is about. Trump's not necessarily mad that the rhinos are getting the money or they're not even getting the money. They're just running the pack. He's mad that the money's not going to him. And a lot of people in the Trump campaign, according to this report are now worried that this could cause Adelson to just stop giving money to Trump. It hasn't happened yet, but of course, you know, it's only been a few days really. Uh, we'll see if it happens, but what I will tell you that I reported uh, just a couple days ago is that there are also reports that the donors, Donald Trump's big donors, which would likely include Adelson are starting to look at his campaign and realize this guy's a loser. He is a stone cold loser to borrow Trump's own phrase. And so they're already starting to pull back on the amount of money that they're giving him. And as he continues to pull stunts like this, attacking and insulting the people giving him money, it's going to make them more likely to say, okay, listen, the guy's gone insane. He's putting out these truly psychotic posts on truth social. He is losing in every single poll. He's attacking us personally. Why the hell would I write this man another check? I'm not going to do it. And that is what is going to happen. It's not a matter of if it's a matter of when these donors know that they can buy elections to a degree, but they're watching this one slip away from them. So what we will likely see, not that I'm happy about it, but we've seen this happen before is a lot of this big corporate money that typically flows to Republicans will end up starting to flow to Democrats. Once these big time donors, whether it's wall street, the defense industry, whatever, once they see that the Republicans are not going to win, they'll start giving all the money to the Democrats to try to buy them off. And to a degree, they could be successful. Again, that's why I'm not happy about it, but they're going to abandon the Republican party in very short order here. And it wouldn't surprise me if we look at the final numbers that Trump raises through August and September, if those keep going down because he won't stop upsetting his own donors. Hi everyone. This here is little Athena and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to fair and balanced yet. So please don't let Athena down subscribe today.